Hello everybody. Um, I am going to talk about a career that I looked into that is called Social and Human Service Assistant. Um, I chose this career because when researching a lot of the careers that are available with um, just a bachelor's degree in this major, I, it seemed like a lot of them were either paper pushing type jobs or they were um, dealing with, I don't know, maybe kind of sad cases and um, it just didn't seem like that there was a ton of exciting jobs out there. But um, when I found this one, I got really excited about it because I actually know somebody who does something like this and it just seems like it'd be a really interesting career. So let me just kind of go over what that career is. Um, I'm going to be reading off of a few things. Let me just first say that I got most of my information off of the U.S. Department of Labor Bureau of Labor Statistics website. Um, I found that website to be super awesome. Um, there was a lot of really good information on there and you know it's valid because it's from a government agency. So the overview of this career, it says um, social and human service assistants provide client services including support for families in a wide variety of fields such as psychology, rehabilitation, and social work. They assist other workers such as social workers and they help clients find benefits or community services. So I just think this would be really a fun job because I feel like you'd be helping people in the community and um, I, you know, that's kind of more the route I want to go with my career. I want to go on to get my master's degree and um, I'm thinking that community outreach is kind of the direction I'd like to go. So this kind of sounds like it's along those lines and so that's what really interests me. Some of their duties are um, they help determine what type of aid their clients need. They work with clients and other professionals such as social workers to develop a treatment plan. They help clients find assistance with daily activities such as eating and bathing, research services such as food stamps and Medicaid that are available to the clients in their communities, coordinate services provided to clients, help clients complete paperwork to apply for assistance programs, transport clients, for example, by driving them to appointments or services within to services uh, within the community, check in with clients to ensure that services are provided appropriately. Social and human service assistants have many job titles including casework aid, clinical social work aid, family service assistant, social work assistant, addictions counselor assistant, and human service worker. So that just sounded like something that would be really fun because, um, you know, your work environment changes all the time. You know, you're out in the community, you're working with people, you are also in the office. Um, and so I just, I'm a person who likes a lot of variety, so that just seemed like something I would really enjoy. Um, their, their work environment, um, it says they have a wide range of working environments. They work with families in the community, um, they travel doing that. They they, um, they have a lot of meetings, they work in the office. Sometimes the job can be even a 24 hour thing, um, but it seemed like typically it was more of an eight to five kind of thing. It definitely was a full time position. Typical stressors, um, dealing with the stress of exposure to various hardships that families and children experience. Um, like I said, that's something that kind of worries me a little bit. I don't, I feel like, um, that could be really wearing on somebody. Um, but there are lots of different directions you can go in this field, so, um, and I'll give an example of that at the end of the video. Um, some of the other stressors could be that there are long hours, um, they could be tiring and stressing, and then interacting with community members. Sometimes, you know, you're not a purple uh, people person. <laughs> Sometimes people, kind of weird. Sometimes they might stress you out a little bit. So that's some of the stressors. The health benefits. Um, I, I didn't find anything specifically about health benefits, but their jobs are available through government agencies and private agencies. So I just think the benefits could vary depending on where the job is and, um, you know, what company is hiring. It is typically a full-time job, so you would think there would be health benefits and other benefits as well. Um, the average pay for this career what, ranges from 27100 to 
36,430. Um, the other educational requirements for this career is to have a bachelor's degree or even in some cases just a high school diploma and relevant work experience. The starting salary for this career is 20120 and the experience salary range is 49570 This career is projected to grow by 11% between 2014 and 2024 and is growing faster than the average career. So I feel like that's a really good reason to go into this career because you know there's going to be a lot of job availability out there and um, you know it's never good to go towards a job where it's the job opportunities aren't there and it's not growing so that's a really good thing about this um, so I said I was gonna give an example so um, I actually know somebody who does something like this she works for a company called Far Northern Regional and um, I actually tried to reach out to her to get some information about her job but uh, you know called her a few times and she hasn't called me back so I'm just gonna try to relay what she does the best I can um, I know her because my daughter, she's two, and she has some speech delays, and um, she was our, uh, I guess, intake assessment person. I don't know exactly her job title, but she, um, we were referred to this company that she works for and um, because of her speech delays, and so she came to our house, and she helped us fill out some paperwork, and she um, helped us to get in touch with different therapists in the community, um, developmental specialists and uh, speech therapy and hearing centers um, to test your hearing and they did various assessments and then after all they did all of their assessments we met back with this woman, her name is Patricia, and um, she went over their their reports and then she told us whether we qualified through for their services because it's kind of like a subsidized thing and um, since we qualified because she had a I think it was a third delay she had to have, she had a third delay so because of that we qualified for these services so now we're going to be starting some therapy every single week with her so that she can help um, you know learn how to talk more and then after six months we're going to meet back up with Patricia and she's going to go over how she's been doing and what the specialists have been reporting and see if we need to continue services. She's also helped us to get in contact with other agencies in the community um, who offer support for parents who have child with um, children with disabilities. I mean, my daughter, she's just delayed. She doesn't have any major disabilities or anything. She's just, she's not talking as much as she should be at this point. So, um, you know, she helped us get in contact with them and um, she's been really awesome and she just kind of checks back in with us and when we make appointments she follows up and makes sure that we know when the appointments are and where they are and she's just a really good resource for us and so that's a career just like this um, career that I've been talking about and um, I just think that, that would be a good career because some of the careers in marriage and family studies at least with bachelor's degree I felt like were kind of boring for lack of a better word. I, for me anyways, they were just a lot of um, paper pushing kind of jobs and I just like this job because I feel like you're making a difference in the community and it's just, it's kind of along the lines of community outreach which is really more the direction that I want to go with um, the marriage and family studies major. So I hope that this was informative and you know if it sounds interesting maybe you can look into it. Um, as we get our bachelor's degrees down the road, you know, it's going to take a while if we want to continue our education and get our master's degree, and it would be awesome to have a career to do in the meantime. So, hopefully, this was helpful. I look forward to seeing everybody else's videos. Have a good night.